Okay, bass boat driving tips. 101 part, I don't know what part it is, but it's the driving turns. Everybody wants to know how to make turns in a bass boat. I'm gonna give you the basics, I'll give you a couple little advanced tips. Hopefully, you can learn a few things. That's the whole point. I love people critiquing anything on here. If you wanna comment down there, go for it. Go for it. Just have fun with it, it's fun. We're just trying to educate people and have everybody be a better bass boat driver. Now I've been driving bass cat bass boats for, gosh, well over 10 years, but all the all the principles that that we're going to talk about right now are are you know good for any bass boat, uh, boats in general, but more specifically bass boats because that's what I've driven, uh, you know, mainly predominantly for the last 20 years, and that's what we're going to talk about today. So we're not talking about getting on plane, we're not talking about top end, we're not talking about all around. We're just going to talk about turns. So the first thing you want to know when taking turns is how do I do it? Now that might sound silly. You're going to you're going to obviously turn this wheel, but what happens when you turn a bass boat, whether you have hydraulic steering or you have uh, manual, you know, cable driven steering, you're going to turn the wheel this way, and it's going to turn. Uh, you know, it's going to push and pull the hydraulics or or the cable so that the the motor is going to turn left or it's going to turn right now as you can see you got to look at where that where that um, is attached to the motor so that's going to be pivoting left and right you got to keep keep that in your brain you got the boat here there's no wheels in the front that are turning it you've got all the traction of the hull that's going to be pointing in a straight direction now there's no keel on the boat Obviously, it's not a sailboat, uh, so you're not gonna. It will spin sideways, but all the traction that is on the boat is going in a straight direction. What you've got on the uh, the back of the boat is a lever action turning. So it's going to turn, you know, this way and that way, like uh, you know, flaps on a wing of a, of an airplane. So you're going to get that back turn. In the thrust is also going to be on that back and that's gonna be where all your traction is to slide left and right. There's a lot of concepts. I know, I got it, I got it, a lot of concepts. But we're gonna break it down and make it real easy for you. So, as you're going, driving straight, you wanna make a left turn. We're gonna turn that motor, you turn the steering wheel to the left, and you're gonna see the motor turns to the left, right? So the motor is gonna to turn to the left, that is gonna cause thrust to push your boat around to the left, and you're going to make a left turn, okay? We got those basics out. And the opposite for the right, you want to make a right turn. The motor goes to the right side, and then you're going to make a right turn, okay? Make sense? Good. You know, some boats have a little more slide than others. Uh, when you go to, uh, to make a left turn in some brand boats, uh, the boat's going to slide more in the turn as you go around it, like a, like a you know, dirt track car. But... You know, Bass Cats and a number of other brands have a lot of traction in their hulls, which which means when you take that left turn, it's going to be more like it's on rails. You're not going to get a lot of sideways traction on that boat. It's going to go wherever you point that the steering wheel. That's where it's going. Okay, that's that's really kind of the basics. We're going to go ahead. We're going to get uh, do a little do a little demonstrations. We're going to ride around a little bit. Then we'll go to part two and we'll talk about where your trim needs to be as you're driving okay and you're taking these turns so let's let's just drive the boat a little bit all right out here on a beautiful day water's a little dirty we're gonna go Took us, took us a little spin here, made us a few turns, real basic stuff. And, and so just what you wanna do with your trim when you're going through these turns is you wanna have your motor trimmed down. Now what that's gonna do is gonna, it's gonna put, when you trim your motor all the way down into a tuck position, 
it's going to put pressure on the hull for the hull to stay down. And what that's going to do is going to help your boat turn left and right. That's, that's the basics. You don't have to turn with your motor all the way trimmed down. You can trim your motor all the way up into the full tilt run position and you can try to turn. It's not going to work out as well for you. Not going to work out as well for you because you're going to take all that pressure off the front of the boat and lifting that boat, you're going to get all the boat, the majority of the boat's going to be out of the water when you're at high speeds and you're going to, and that boat is not going to turn very well. You may get that, you may get a lot of walk in action and, and it, you know, when you try to turn uh, and you may lose control, a lot of bad things can happen. So basically, what you want to do basically what you want to do is keep the motor trimmed down in some sort of position between about half trim and full tuck trim when you're taking sharp turns when i'm taking really sharp turns i'm probably going to back off the throttle a little bit back off the throttle uh, and tuck my motor down a little bit further so i can get the most bite going through that turn so i'm not going to be uh, I'm not going to be losing control not going to be spinning out if you have your motor over trimmed and, and then the, the front of your boat comes down, you can actually lose traction in the back and you, you can spin out and do a 180. I have seen it happen. You can probably Google right now on the YouTube, you could probably Google out there right now, boat spin out, bass boat spin out, bass boat, whatever, and you bass boat wreck. You can see all this that I'm talking about. A lot of it's probably because they didn't have their trim in the pro proper position. So we're gonna, we're gonna start this motor up. We're gonna go through a couple couple turns and we're gonna try to give you an example show you exactly what I'm talking about of how you want to have that and you can I mean absolutely turn on a dime you can turn like this boat you can turn it around in about a uh, 30 yard stretch you can just turn it all the way around 360s we're gonna do some crazy stuff I'll show you but just keep an eye on that trim as we do all this whole shot is great trim up a little bit in order to get more speed but I've got a I've got a sharp left hand turn coming up here so I'm gonna I'm still at moderate trim I'm gonna ease the steering wheel into this turn and that's what you're, you're just gonna ease into it as soon as you start to straighten out you can start trimming back up if you've got a straight stretch coming but I've got another turn so I'm not gonna trim up too much It's a, no, it's a long turn here. Now I got a straight stretch coming. So I'm gonna go ahead and start trimming, knowing that the straight stretch is coming. I'm rocking. Too much trim. Still going 50 miles an hour all the way through that. It's a one, we just did a 180. If I'm going to do sharper, I'm going to probably let off a little bit. I mean, we can really turn it. And then you get that bounce. You want to trim it down. You got it trimmed up too much. See, now we got it biting. Yeah. If you should go into a turn, if you should go into a turn and you're trimmed, you're not trimmed down enough. A lot of a lot of times, what will happen is the front of the boat will start to you'll feel it start drifting. What the, the front of the boat's starting to lift. It's trying to bite, but there's too much force on the engine kicking up and lifting the front of your boat. So it's not biting. It's it's just gonna it's gonna start bouncing. So as soon as I start, I felt that start to bounce. I I started to trim that motor down, and as soon as I trimmed it down a little bit, that front locked in. And man, we were we were you know turning around on top of each other. So that's a that is like the the number one thing you want to look for to make sure that you you have it trimmed down far enough if you don't have it tucked all the way down. So hopefully hopefully you can learn a few things from those tips right there. That's bass boat turning 101. That's that's the way to do it. 
Um, you, you know, at high speeds, if you're going through uh, a long drifting turn, you can stay really close to trimmed all the way up, uh, but you may have to work the steering wheel a little bit more, almost like a chine walk situation, uh, that you, you're just working that steering wheel a little bit more because again, you've got that motor trimmed up and you've got the, the pressure on the hull is going up, not biting into the water. So as you're going through that turn, even though it might be a slight turn, it might start to bounce a little bit more. You may have to trim down just a touch. I find that a lot of times on you know tournament mornings when you're running and you're making those longer sweeping turns and you start to get a little bit of a bounce, just trim it down just a couple bumps, bump, 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 and, and then that, that boat will start tracking around that turn and once you get through the turn, straighten it out, then you can trim it back up again. So hopefully you learned a few tips there in bass boat driving turns and you can look right over here and see the Bass Boat Driving 101, the general. And we're gonna bring more Bass Boat Driving tips to you. So comment down there, let me see what you wanna know. And if you have any other questions, I'll try to answer all the comments I can. But thanks for watching.